chance of a bit of service down here today, preferably? Right. You'll be lucky, slower than treacle. Another word and you're... It's all right, Peggy. I can handle this. Oh, they're a bit sour for grapes, aren't they? Well, that's because they're olives. Well, then give them back to her. <laughs> and I'll buy a champagne. Do they take plastic? Why? You're gonna get your boobs out. <clears throat> So, uh, did I tell you I like breakfast in bed? In that case, you better sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> Ain't it sweet? Yeah. Shame it's some other woman having your husband's baby. For my next trick, uh, I'm going to... Uh... Serve someone? <laughs> <laughs> the old rapport, eh? Said, what do you want? What, in the ideal world? You, floating in the canal. Do you know anyone who wants a man? Oh, I won't say no. Have a man's services. Oh, this gets better and better. Who's on offer? Me. I need under quid. Now, sorry, Jim, you're better at my price range. We can sit and chat. What about? Oh, whatever you like. Believe it or not, we used to do a lot of this in the 60s. I wonder if one was on drugs. It's so romantic, that first bit. My Trevor used to spend hours telling me how pretty I was. Was that before or after he did ya? Cat, that's a horrible thing to say. Must have expected something. Yeah, well, this, I suppose. Weren't expecting that, was ya? What's going on? A minute, Mark, doing an advertising shoot. What, here? They wanted a real shot with real stuff. Here, have you started yet? Just setting up. Well, make sure you show me best profile. Yeah. <laughs> what, you're in this? Yes. Not all models have to look like Brad Pitt, you know. No. But not many look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> so what does she say? Zoe, Den's gone off somewhere and died, but I didn't bother going with him or say anything because I got a pub to run. You think this is funny? Now that's one for the photographers, that is. Oh, get lost, Gary. That's later, like going to work. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Yeah, well carry on and you won't. Oh, you don't believe them tea leaves, do you and Mo? Why not? Perhaps one day Billy will be a millionaire. Yeah. And I'm Mother Kathleen, leading my fellow nuns in prayer. Hey, Alan, seriously. <laughs> I mean, technically, Alan, we're not family now, are we, anymore? No, that's true. Shame, Lynn, to tell me what you are like in bed. Uh, <laughs> I'll go and get some water. No, no, I'm OK. Maybe you need to clean it. Shall I leave you two alone? No, this is what I'll do. I am innocent, but she has already put me through a sentence. And I ain't gonna let her ruin my life any longer. Ooh, <laughs> you go, girl. Done it a murder, ruin your holiday. Hey, Mel, fill that material, 100% lamb's wool. Actually, Zoe, I'm not that interested right now. Pity. If there ever was a bit of mutton that needed dressing up as lamb, you're going to sit there all day. Oh, look at you, victim. Alfie loved me, and now he don't. But I'd better put on a blue face because the time we're too mad. Diamonds, aren't they? Yeah. He should come to you, then. I couldn't get old enough in that flesh. That's enormous, isn't it? Size ain't everything, babe. That's right, Gaz. You keep telling her that. <laughs> Scan showed subdural hematoma and postauricular ecchymosis, also hemiparesis. Right, and for those of us that use English as a first language? Yeah. Have you come from some sort of home or something? Third date tonight, and I'm going to be doing cock a van. <laughs> I thought that was sex in a lorry. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! All you had to do was smash his skull in. Trust you not to make a proper job of it. No. Turn it on someone else because you don't want to talk about the real issues. What would that be then? Me and you. Oh, really? I thought it was talking about the stiff in the Vic. Why don't I take my girls over to the Vic? This is turning to my perfect day. All I need now is for Gary to get hit by a bus. No, you don't mean that. I'd do it myself if I had a car. Where's my? I stabbed her. Cut her up, put the bits in carrier bags, and I lobbed her in the wheelie bin. Oh, no, she's OK. She's upstairs. Sobbing her little heart out, I expect. Here. <gasps> we'll have to call you Georgie Paulgie. That's what he did, didn't he? He kissed the girls and made them cry. And Den's moved on as well, eh? He's moved on big time. Got himself a nice little place. What do you think, Chrissy? Probably got some tasty old slapper walking all over him. OK, put the lid on it, eh? If that was my bloke and he'd done that, I wouldn't let him walk off. Do you know what I'd have done? I would have killed him. And I'd dance on his grave, I would. Go and sling your hook. 
What? You can't throw me out. Who's working today? Well, it's just you and me. Right, either he goes or I go. You've got to smirk about. What's that? You're toasting the baby. Sorry. I didn't explain myself properly. <laughs> Mrs. Watts in the pub with a doorstop, wasn't it? Split open his skull. I wonder what that sounded like. I bet it was like a walnut cracking or something, wasn't it? And all that blood. How much do you reckon? About a bucket full? Oh, I bet it made a real mess of the floor, didn't it? Must have been a nightmare. But you still wake up now, don't you? Seeing it. Or get used to it. Cos it's always gonna be there. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. All that swimming about up here. And her down there, swanning about like she owns the place. Poking about in all the wrong corners. <laughs> Ah, it's gonna do your head in. And I'm gonna be there every step of the way, enjoying it. So come on, Chrissy. <coughs> chop, chop. Got a pub to run. This is the first day of the rest of your life. I wanna talk to my barrister. He's in court. Then I'll wait. He'll be a while, and there's no guarantee he'll see you. Well, my sister's gonna be in prison for a while, so I'll wait until he can. All right. When you went. When I went. Yeah, when you went away. Sorry, can I interrupt you there for a minute? Um, can we jump this bit? Because I've got this horrible feeling that it's going to end up to be all my fault. I mean, you know, I went away and then you had no other choice but to make a move on my sister because that's what you do, isn't it, Alfie, when you split up? You move in on the immediate family. Saves breaking in a new set of in-laws, doesn't it? Do you want to hear what happened or not? Sorry, darling. I'm all ears. You left me, Cat. I was a free agent just like you. Oh, where was Spencer when I needed him? It didn't matter that she was your sister, she was just Mo. Surely her last name was a bit of a giveaway. Oh, whatever. You and me, we weren't together. Have Lynn and Belinda on standby, did you? Oh, I hate you when you're like this. Right, so what happened? As I said, Maureen took a nasty fall down a flight of stairs. Took or was given? You loved me once. I loved Father Christmas and all, but he didn't touch me up. It wasn't just me. You were always going around in that little mini skirt. That was my school uniform. And the makeup. I used to walk around in my mum's high heels when I was free. Up for it then, was I? Something sort of video would have taken a long time. Why don't you take a running jump? Oh, pregnancy's really softened you up, yet. I'm divorcing them. Goodbye, family. Free at last. I'm gonna live a bit. Yeah, I'm free and single, ain't I? What's your problem, Trevor? Besides being a total psycho. I've cared about everyone I've gone out with. You don't even get their first name. Yes, I have sometimes. Let me see. There was, uh, Anthony Truman. You evil bitch. And I just... Spencer! That's very fetching. No, I was 100% pure silk. I rescued it from a fire in a Chinese restaurant. They do it in men's sizes and all. Ah, uh, yeah, very funny. You and Alfie what? <laughs> Look, Billy got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, did he? Oh, I got the rock into the stick. I shouldn't have smashed this place up then. You look like the woman from the Adams family. You know, Morticia. Yeah? Well, you look like a slapper. <laughs> Can't we tap her phone? This is Nan we're talking about, Mo. Not James Bond. All right, Kat. I was to see you. What, keeping you up to date on all the latest scandal about me, is she? Oh, don't be don't you dare talk to me, you cow. I've had it with you. Why don't you go somewhere and die? Uh, which way is the kitchen? Come on, let's sober her up. I don't need sobering up. You don't even know where the kitchen is. Oh, I was joking, you stupid old cow. What do you call me? I call you a stupid old cow. If anything similar occurs, please get in touch. You don't want to arrest him or anything. It doesn't constitute what the law would regard as a threat. Yeah? Well, I ain't got no regard for the law. I think I feel a bit confusing for you, Mo. When? Did you steal my husband? Be... When did you put your tongue in his mouth? Roughly. What's this? 
Egg on toast? No, omelette on charcoal. Well, the eggs broke. But I like my eggs runny. And I like Brad Pitt, but we can't have everything, can we? Oh, by the way, I broke an owl doing that, so keep an eye out for it, will ya? Cheers. I think they're festive, love. Dad, Father Christmas is festive. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is festive, but that don't mean little Mo wants us walking down the aisle with floppy hats and red noses, does it? <laughs> Very good. I've got some news. What? What you doing? I changed my mind. I ain't got my lucky bra on. That is my bag. Hey, hey. Yeah, it is. I saw you switch it. No. This is mine. I bought it at the market. <laughs> yes, so did she, so give it back. Oh. Ain't she had her HRT today or something? Hey, hey, are you dissing my mum? Hey, 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 ladies. Oh, get off, you stupid trollop. They're all the same. Say that again. What did you say, say to what? me? Say it again. Trollop. <laughs> oh, have it. It means that much to you. Got my eye on you. Sorry, love, I don't do blondes. <laughs> OK, you're awake. Oh, your eyesight's till 2020 vision, then. Yeah, we was uh, wondering if you'd like to go out on the stall today. Get back into the swing of things. That your idea, was it? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact. I've only been here a day or so, and you can't wait to get me out from under your feet. OK, it wasn't... What's this? Well, what's it look like? I don't know, it most fits over the table. Cat. Oh, this is cat, is it? Yeah, I thought so. Meaning? I just guessed. She paid for a full one. You spilt most of it yourself. And a full one's what I want. Well, you'll have to wait, cos I'm having a bit of a domestic. Yeah, you will have a domestic if I don't get what I paid for. Hey, it looks like cat's pee. Well, funny enough, I've never drunk cat's pee myself. Don't stop your serving it, though, does it? She's a gobby car, isn't she? Oh, what can't motor mouth talking? All right, give me five minutes, yeah? Don't rush back, will ya? Uh, I'm sorry, um, they're not for sale. What do you mean? Well, Mrs. Brown's called and she's asked me to take them over. Oh, well, tough. They're on the shelf and I'm buying them. Yeah, but, but I promised Mrs. Brannan. I don't care what you promised. My baby wants beetroot with his vindaloo. I've had the weirdest cravings for strawberries with marmite. Turn it up. I, I'm sorry, I can't. Are you ringing it up or should I just take them? I'm sorry, but you, you can't have them. No? What are you doing? They're not yours. I got you getting all red in the face. Keep going and turn to a beetroot yourself, Mrs. Brannan. <laughs> oh. oh! So, we're sending you home. You oh. can't. She's in labour. The latent phase, and that can take some time. Yeah, but she's having tractions. Mild ones. Are you having a laugh? Uh, Alfie, they're sending her home. Where are you going home? Uh, I can give you some paracetamol to take with me. No. No, I want a second opinion. You're ugly as well. Shut what? up. You Stick your feet up and go and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That baby ain't going anywhere fast. I'm in agony. You think this is bad? Do you want to try giving birth during the blitz? You was five, Nan. That ain't the point. You got hospitals and epidurals. When I had my viv, they strapped me on a bed and only give me a sponge to suck on. I bet Ronnie Mitchell has got them all flocking round her, making sure she don't lift a finger. <laughs> oh, what's all that shouting about then? It's the only way to get any attention round here. Well, you know where the kitchen is, don't you? Sat there like Lady Mac. No, not until she's finished the napkins, oh. Mo. This is like a nightmare. Giving birth is meant to be a magical experience. Except you've not got me running around like bleed the Cinderella. <gasps> what are you doing down there? I thought I'd take a bit of time out to get to know the rats. This is a wind up, though. Oh, I swear to God, Elfie, when I'm on my feet, I'm going to club you one. I'm not... <laughs> um, I've got to go and put the kettle on. This is no time for 